hello how are you guys so today i'm going to make a video on how to find uh, risk management quant jobs in a foreign country uh, somebody has asked me this question and he has asked me to make a video on this so i'll make a detailed video on this i'll share my own experience because uh, i'm currently working in europe and i have been in europe for the last seven years uh, before that i was in in uk now I'm in continental Europe um, and many of my colleagues have come from uh, foreign countries, many from India, many from Africa, some even from Caribbean countries. So they have been able to find jobs in Europe. I also know people who have moved from India to Middle Eastern countries or to Singapore or Hong Kong. So I'll make a detailed video as to how you can uh, find jobs uh, in a foreign country in risk management or in quantitative research. Okay, first of all, let me tell you that it's uh, much less as compared to uh, finding a job in IT uh, in a foreign country. If you are in India and you want to find a job in Europe and you are in IT, it's much easier compared to that in other areas because uh, IT professional, Indian IT professionals are very well known elsewhere uh, but not so much other professionals um, so it's it's much less easy however it's possible actually and things have changed quite dramatically in the last five years when i moved to europe it was uh, much more difficult to actually find a job uh, without having uh, an european degree uh, if you have a local degree from local university i think then uh, you can certainly find many opportunities but um, yeah if you do not have yeah, any qualification from local universities is very difficult. Secondly, uh, finding a job from abroad is very difficult. If you are coming here uh, in a dependent visa, your spouse is working here and you want to find a job uh, because you already are here and uh, you already have a work permit here because you are a dependent of your spouse then it's also easy but uh, finding a job directly from a foreign country uh, in risk management is difficult let me tell you uh, but in many countries you, you can find uh, you can find in uk uh, netherlands uh, germany sweden um, austria norway um, yeah uk it used to be very difficult actually when uh, i moved to europe but things have changed after Brexit. Now, uh, companies in London, they have to also sponsor visa uh, for people coming from Europe. Uh, before Brexit, that was different. So they used to hire only people from other parts of Europe because there was no need of to you know sponsor visa. Now they anyway have to sponsor visa. So it doesn't matter whether uh, the sponsor visa for an Indian guy or a Middle Eastern guy or, or an European guy, right? So it doesn't make much of a difference to them. Although there's some level of difference because many of the London-based companies are working for uh, European banks. So yeah, the, the European guys still have a better chance to get hired by the London-based companies compared to the Indian, uh, you know, the ones working in India. But um, things have improved a lot, let me tell you. And many people are actually getting jobs uh, in risk management. Uh, in, in London so you can try there um, you can also try in other places like Dubai Abu Dhabi uh, you know in all these Middle Eastern countries uh, you get a very good pay there uh, the money is much much better in Middle Eastern countries compared to that in uh, Europe and UK uh, but there are other things also it's like you know so when it comes to the quality of life quality of work I think you will enjoy it more in Europe compared to that in Middle Eastern countries but if you are keen on money I think Middle Eastern countries are any day better you can also try in Singapore and Hong Kong uh, both of these places uh, very English speaking type so you can also move there although you know it's way more difficult to get uh, opportunities there compared to that in Europe okay um, also, it depends on whether you are a fresh or a work, uh, work experience professional. Okay? If you are an experienced professional, it's much easier to get a job. But if you are a fresher, fresh out of university, I think yeah, it's, 
very difficult actually to get a job in a foreign country i have never come across anyone who is a fresher fresh out of university and have managed to get a good job in risk management uh, in a foreign country uh, at least i have never come across so you really need to have experience already and preferably with multinational firms for working in city bank in india or jp morgan goldman sachs morgan stanley any of these us or european banks it's much easier to find jobs uh, in europe uh, if you're working with the consulting firms also is is quite easy uh, for example if you're working with ey kpmg you know you know these places yeah then your cv will be taken very seriously by european companies but if you're working for indian companies like tcs infosys or indian boutique consulting firms uh, then also it's a bit more difficult uh, let me tell you but if you have clients from europe you can write it down in your cv that okay even though i'm working for a, an indian company but i'm working for european or american clients and you can mention the names uh, if these are uh, some uh, popular names um, in the banking financial world then that really will help right because unlike in it where they will simply look at your skills um and hire you risk management quite different right in many ways it's not your technical skills you really need to be able to uh, communicate well to work in uh, in e- european um, companies and you will be managing stakeholders you you will be talking to regulators local regulators and uh, it's not always trust people from abroad to do these activities um right so technical skills do matter but other than technical skills um there are many other things where where people may not trust you if you do not have proper work experience although in my experience i think that's not a big deal actually uh, most indians i have met in uh, uk or in europe uh, who are working in risk management they are doing amazing right um all right so you need to have experience in international banks if you are having experience in indian banks it's also a bit difficult right because you probably are not aware of the local regulation right in europe you know regulations from uh, ecb um or federal reserve right if you do not have experience in either of them i think your cv will have less less much less weightage by the way um some areas have some in some areas uh, it's easier to get jobs for example in regulatory areas for example if you have experience building regulatory models ifrs 9 models irb models uh, or even financial crime models compliance models fraud models you know these sort of models then it's much easier to find jobs uh, in in these countries okay uh, if you have experience in stress testing pricing also Uh, or market risk frtv you know those activities or alm uh, interest rate risk equity risk stream that sort of areas uh, then it is easier for you to find jobs here but if you have just experience in developing acquisition scorecard and you are not working in a regulatory area then it's a bit more difficult uh, but you can always learn regulatory uh, regulatory topics right it's not a big deal i would say you can easily learn and develop yourself there and yeah you can prepare yourself very well before the interview and be honest about it right as long as you're familiar with the uh, statistical modeling technique and you have the knowledge either you have gained through experience or you have gained through uh, by self study uh, I, i think people should be fine with that they will not question you that okay you have gained the knowledge through self study and not through work experience right? many people will not question that right um yeah uh, but also one thing to remember is that most of the jobs in the foreign countries are very expert type jobs that means uh, you need to have experience between 3 to 10 years if you have more than 10 years of experience you will still be hired as an expert is very less likely you will be hired as a lead or a senior manager manager type uh, yeah european companies will probably never hire you know directly from foreign countries for managerial positions 
right some london based companies might do that i know many consulting firms ey kpmg they are doing that they are hiring people from india for senior manager manager level positions or investment banks hiring from india at vp level but uh, these are exceptions they are not many examples right um especially in banks is more difficult in consulting firms you, if you are already having like more than 10 years of experience and you have a very strong cv then you can find managerial senior managerial level positions but in banks it's very difficult you will be hired more of a senior expert type right so that's one thing to know but you can negotiate that right you can try negotiating maybe in some places you might find opportunities in fintechs if you are able to find jobs in fintech small fintech firms right their uh, companies won't have problem giving you all kinds of positions like it including managerial position but not in big uh, banks the regulated banks they will never hire you as late uh, they will never trust somebody coming from a foreign country uh, who have no experience working with the local regulators uh, or local type of models um, or probably even he or she is not even familiar with the work style in europe or in any other foreign location and to become a lead to lead a team of 10 15 20 people uh, yeah that's that's not something they will uh, like it i have never come across actually anyone hired as a manager from a foreign country all right um so how do you find a job then right that's a point i wanted to discuss one thing is that uh, you can try all all sort of places right uh, whether it's linkedin or other job sites but the best thing is to find someone who can refer you right referral works wonders let me tell you right uh, your chances of getting selected or even your cv getting selected is way 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 more if it has come to referral right if if you know someone who is working in these companies in this location in these places it's better to approach them ask them that please refer me in your company right uh you can just do a bit of a search right i'm quite sure that some of your seniors some of your super seniors from your university college or uh, an ex colleague um maybe even this may not be a direct colleague but colleague of a colleague right through them you can uh, ask for reference right the reason why it works better than you know just an anonymous application is because uh, there's a bit of a trust issue actually uh, in these areas in risk management area they simply cannot hire anyone right um, these are insider job that means you become an insider you have to write you have to take a banker oath you have to um, go through some level of um, background check before even you work so bit bit of uh, you know there is a bit of a lack of trust actually um and um, as i already said right it's not just technical skill the other skills also so to trust someone um is is very difficult therefore so if you already know someone i think it's better to so reach out to them um you can reach out to me send me your cv if you are interested um also for reference for referrals uh, what's important is that you talk to them first you talk to the guy who is referring to you to to, to get the knowledge of uh, the kind of jobs uh, he is going to be referring uh, your cv to um it's important to also know the do's and don'ts in interviews right talk to them right to get a feel of how what the expectations are right um yeah and then if you do not know anyone i think the second best option is to directly approach the head hunters because these head hunters do have an incentive to place you because they will get money if they place you in these companies so just reach out to them talk to them uh, just uh, talk to them you can also directly apply you can simply directly apply on linkedin many people have found job also directly applying without being referred by uh, anyone 
um, uh, consulting companies hire more people from abroad compared to banks let me tell you so it's easier to uh, get uh, get an opportunity with consulting firms compared to that in banks but let me tell you that uh, the money that you'll be making in banks is a bit more compared to that in consulting firms because the consulting firms are always looking out for uh, cheap resources as in people who can work uh, for less money that's what uk consulting firms do you know, they get resources from from india they pay them 50k 60k you know to people like who have like eight years of experience that's not a good salary right but they're getting skilled employees skilled people who are ready to work uh, with the salary um which is which is not a good salary um so it's a win-win actually in a way because you get to go to a developed country uh, you get a visa you get a work permit so that's good in a way for you but um, yeah they're actually exploiting you um yeah for interviews what i will uh, suggest you is to know the local regulations very well just go through the local regulation if you are applying in uk just uh, make sure that uh, you read the pra regulatory guidelines if you are applying for companies in uh, europe make sure to read uh, the ecb regulatory guidelines for the type of models or or type of work that you are currently involved in if you are work working in stress testing and you are worked with uh, federal reserve stress testing right um make sure that you also read the eba stress testing guidelines right if you know a bit about that and you can you can talk about that in the interview that will be very impressive right do a preparation very well um and interviews are not very difficult uh, in europe let me tell you i don't know about other foreign countries but in europe um yeah the level of questions asked is not that tough in my view maybe other people have uh, a different kind of experience but in my experience uh, i can tell you that is much easier if you have worked in india for 5 6 years i think you should be able to clear the interviews right if you have more questions let me know and do contact me if in case you want my help or you have further questions please contact me or please also um let me know your questions in the comment section thank you